hello students in last session up to the question number 14 completed now three questions are remain 15 16 and 17 from the exercise 6.5 let's discuss question number 15 on a page number 151 In equilateral triangle ABC, D is a point on side BC such that BD is equals to one third of BC. Prove that 9 AD square is equals to 7 AB square. First of all, we have to draw one equilateral triangle. A B C. is the equilateral triangle d is a point on bc such that bd is equals to 1/3 of bc prove that ad square we need to join ad ad square is equals to 7 times ab square it is a equilateral triangle then all sides are equal let us take as a x x and x given triangle abc is an equilateral triangle so that ab is equals to bc is equals to ac is equals to x all are equal again one thing is given that bd is equals to 1/3 of bc that's why bd is equals to x upon 3 now we have to draw one altitude from a suppose am let's draw am perpendicular to bc we know in equilateral triangle altitude is also median therefore bm is equals to mc is equals to half of bc is equals to x upon 2 bm is x upon 2 and mc is also x upon 2 now in this triangle the relation between the bd and the bc is given as bm is the addition of bd and dm now bm is equals to bd plus dm so that bm is a x upon 2 bd we don't know bd na no yes it is a x upon 3 and dm remains as it is now take the lcm 3x is equals to 2x plus 6 dm 3x minus 2x is equals to 6 dm that's why dm is equals to x 6 dm is equals to x that's why dm is equals to x upon 6 now see here we need to prove that 9 times ad square is equals to 7 times ab square we required am first use pythagoras theorem in amc or amb in right triangle amc using pythagoras theorem the square of hypotenuse ac square is equals to am square 
प्लस सी एम और एम सी स्क्वायर वेर ए सी इज स्क्वायर ऑफ ए एक्स ए एम वी डोंट नो एंड एम सी इज इक्वल टू एक्स अपॉन टू होल स्क्वायर धर फोर एक्स स्क्वायर एज इट इज ए एम स्क्वायर एज इट इज प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर नाउ टेक द एल सी एम फर्स्ट फोर एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए एम स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर दैट्स वाई ए एम स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फोर एक्स स्क्वायर फोर एम स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फोर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टेकिंग एल सी एम दिस फोर इन डिनोमिनेटर मल्टीप्लाइज विथ एक्स स्क्वायर एंड ए एम स्क्वायर फोर ए एम स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर दैट्स वाई ए एम स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर इट इज अ वैल्यू ऑफ ए एम स्क्वायर इन फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर Now we apply Pythagoras theorem in the smaller triangle, the middle triangle, which is A M D. Now, in right triangle A M D, using Pythagoras. theorem the hypotenuse is the ad square of ad is equals to am square plus dm square ad square remains as it is now replace am square with 3x square upon 4 3x square upon 4 plus dm dm is equals to x upon 6 but it is a whole square that's why square of ad is equals to 3x square upon 4 plus x square upon 36 now we have to take lcm our lcm is 36 36 ad square is equals to Nine threes are twenty-seven x square plus x square. Therefore, thirty-six into eighty square is equals to twenty-eight x square. Thirty-six and twenty-eight. Now take four as a common. Four nines are eighty square and four sevens are. That's why nine eighty square. Now we replace x square. With a b square because a b is equals to x seven a b square because of a b is equals to x nine times a d square is equals to seven a b square hence proved here the question number fifteen is completed now we discuss next sixteen number. Now see the next sixteenth number from exercise six point five. Question number sixteen on a page number one fifty one. In the equilateral triangle, prove that three times the square of one side is equal to four times the square of one of its altitudes. First of all, we have to draw one equilateral triangle. A, B, C is equilateral triangle in which all three sides are equal. Suppose or take triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle therefore ab is equals to bc is equals to ac take all sides are equal as a x 
we need to prove that 3 times the square of one side is equals to 4 times the square of one of its altitude. Let's draw AM perpendicular to BC. Let us take AM is altitude on BC of triangle ABC. AM perpendicular to the BC. As we know in equilateral triangle as we know in equilateral triangle altitude is also median therefore bm is equals to mc is equals to half of the bc as we know bc is a x then bm is equals to mc is equals to x upon 2 ab is x ac is x bm is x upon 2 mc is x upon 2 and the bc is x now we apply pythagoras theorem in triangle amb or in triangle amc in right triangle amc you can also use amb using Pythagoras theorem the square of hypotenuse AC square is equals to AM square plus MC square AM square plus MC square now replace AC with X square is equals to AM AM is the altitude remains as it is and mc is a x upon 2 whole square that's why x square as it is is equals to am square plus x square upon 4 now take 4 as a lcm 4 x square is equals to 4 am square plus x square shift right hand side x square to the left hand side 4 x square minus x square is equals to 4 a m square is equals to 3 x square is equals to 4 a m square now replace x with any side a b b c or a c 3 a b square is equals to 4 into a m square now what we want to prove the 3 times square of one side is equals to 4 times the square of one of its altitude. Hence proved. Hence proved. The 3 times the square of one side is equal to four times the square of one of its altitude it is the most important relation between the side and the altitude now the next question number 17 question number 17 is the last question from exercise 6.5 on a page number 151 most easiest take the correct answer and justify 
इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी ए बी इज इक्व टू सिक्स रूट थ्री सेंटीमीटर ए सी इज इक्व टू ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड बी सी इज इक्व टू सिक्स सेंटीमीटर द एंगल बी इज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री इज द ऑप्शन ए ऑप्शन बी सिक्सटी डिग्री ऑप्शन सी नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड द ऑप्शन डी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट द गिवन थिंग गिवन इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी ए बी इज इक्व टू सिक्स रूट थ्री सेंटीमीटर बी सी इज इक्व टू सिक्स सेंटीमीटर एंड ए सी इज इक्व टू ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर टू फाइंड द एंगल विच टाइप ऑफ एंगल इट इज एक्यूट इट इज अप्टिवस और राइट ट्राइंगल टेक द स्क्वायर ऑफ साइड्स ए बी स्क्वायर इज इक्व टू स्क्वायर ऑफ सिक्स रूट थ्री होल स्क्वायर थर्टी सिक्स इंटू थ्री विच इज वन जीरो एट देन स्क्वायर ऑफ अनदर साइड बी सी स्क्वायर इज इक्व टू सिक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्व टू थर्टी सिक्स एंड द ए सी स्क्वायर इज इक्व टू स्क्वायर ऑफ ट्वेल्व विच इज वन फोर्टी फोर नाउ do the addition of squares of two smaller side now the two square of two smaller side is 108 and 36 ab square plus bc square is equals to the square of ab is equals to 108 plus square of bc is equals to 36 108 plus 36 144 is the answer of square of ac what happen here here using converse of pythagoras theorem square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of another two sides so that what happen therefore angle opposite to first side is right angle therefore the angle which angle first side is the ac its opposite angle is b angle b is equal to 90 degree we want to find angle b option number c which is 90 degree is our correct answer keep in mind three knots in triangle abc ac is the longest side then first if ab square plus bc square is equals to ac square then what happen then triangle abc is right triangle uh it is a mention in practice workbook the second thing is that if ab square let's take one example for that 11 suppose 
obtuse triangle 5 6 and 7 square of longest side 49 and 25 plus 36 the square of longest side is less than the squares of another two side smaller sides means it is a acute triangle if obtuse triangle is here then the square of two smaller side is less than the square of the longest side ab square plus bc square is greater than the longest side a c square then triangle a b c is acute triangle the 6 5 7 is the acute triangle pair of acute triangles and remaining one thing third if a b square plus bc square is less than ac square then triangle abc is obtuse triangle keep in mind these three things in which the first is important using Pythagoras theorem as well as the converse of Pythagoras theorem. In this session, our chapter number 6 from the textbook completed. Now, whenever we meet in next session, we discuss some important sums regarding the chapter number 6 triangle. If you have any query regarding the homework regarding our textbook, please tick mark it very well.